Welcome back to Mr. A Game, everyone. We're playing some more of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Great to be back, and today we're gonna have an election. <laughs> I love democracy. Let's go check in on the latest fashionista, the power CC. Ah, another practically perfect masterpiece. It's an exemplar of the form from every angle. This is the sword on which I built my name and reputation as the world renowned CC. Hmm? Uh -huh. Oh, pardon me, are you an admirer here and meet the incomparable CC? Yes. Hmm, I must say, you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Hey, look at my hat. Welcome to Ventus Clothing, the only boutique in the world which carries the CC brand. And if you weren't aware, you stand before the very woman who changed this fusty old village into the birthplace of Nouveau fashion. The CC hat, the newest and most magnificent work by yours truly, CC. Ooh. Ah. Do you see the luxurious curve? Do you note my avant-garde color choices? Wouldn't you call it the pinnacle of perfection? This piece is so special that I dare not assign a price to it. It's not for sale. I shall only part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. What's all this about Hyrule's trendiest village? I don't remember approving any new slogans for Hatino. Uh -huh. Ah, look who's here. What can I do for you, oh esteemed Mayor Reed? Cece, you've got to quit littering the village with your weird art pieces. Maybe you don't realize, but plants need their sleep too. Those eyesores are so bright at night that they're keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. Hatino's foundation is its produce. What are we going to do if it fails? Aww. Now, now, dear, there's no need to get so worked up. I think some of the people here actually like her art, you know? Wouldn't it be better to hear her out? Don't fall for our light of twaddle. She's got everyone in Hatino wrapped up around her finger already. My duty is to look after the village, and that's what I mean to do. Uh -huh. Looking after the village, you say? Who do you suppose you have to thank for Hatino's rejuvenation? Mm. It didn't need rejuvenating. Hatino Village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives, and that's the way they like it. <laughs> do they? Then let us leave the matter to the people to decide. My avant-garde approach versus the mayor's quaint bygone ways. The citizens will decide which outlook will drive the future of the village. By holding a mayoral election. Sure, suits me. I'll win that pretty easy. Uh. Sophie, I delegate management of the mayoral election to you. Uh. What? Come on, Clavia. I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. It's time we headed back home. No, it's about to go down. The answer should go without saying, but you are, of course... Oh, uh, I'm undecided. Third party, impartial vote. I'm just here to see it out. Oh, uh -huh, if you haven't yet thrown in your lot with the other candidate, then... Welcome to Team Cece. So I was undecided, lady. Plain for all to see that I'm a shoe in for the next mayor. Or so one would think. Yet there are still stragglers in this village still supporting Reed. They need a mental makeover. And so, I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to read supporters. Uh -huh. Mushrooms are synonymous with the CC brand. Fungal fashion is the CC way. Although, Sophie and I must find the shop. Where will we find someone we can trust to carry out this vital task? I guess I'll do it. There's the magic words I was waiting for. You're our lifesaver. Now then, you'll be needing these. Oh, thank you. These mushrooms are for the village's Reed supporters. It's easy to recognize them by how unstylish they are. This should go without saying, but don't give one to anyone in Reed's family. There's also no need to give them out to the children, travelers, or any temporary residents. Okay, fair enough. This leaves us with, unless I miss my guess, a total of eight Reed supporters. Off you go. Okay, okay. Well, here we go. Team CC, Team Reed. Oh, wait, no. Um, Sophie, what are you doing? What's going on? Wait, are you okay? She saddled me with so much work when she put me in charge of the mayoral election. Can you give me a little advice? Sure, yeah, sure. Give me advice. Ah, I should have expected that. The thing I need your advice on is my sister. It's about CC. Lately, she's been sneaking off alone in the middle of the night. I don't think it's anything sinister, but the election is soon, and I don't want any last-minute surprises to hurt her chances. So I'd like you to tail my sister, find out where she's going, and what she's up to, get back to me. Sure. Cece's secret as well. Everything's going down. Okay. Look for some, like, sickos who aren't wearing fashionista brand. You! Idiots! For as long as anyone can remember, we've tilled the soil and let nature be our guide in life. Huh. Now, though, everything's getting so glitzy as some folks try to drum up more tourism business. Mind you, we're all happy to see Cece return to the village after she's been gone for so long. 
Some folks like my daughter Prima are starting wearing the flashy CC brand stuff right away in celebration. But it's a tad over the top for me and my son-in-law, Wharton. We prefer the simple life, the way we've always lived it. But here, have a highly in Here, we found one. Perfect. I'm happy to vote for whoever for mayor if they'll fix up the village real nice. Oh, see, there you go. It, well, and it's raining. Okay, good luck. Oh, here's one. Look at you. You're not wearing a hat. Look, it doesn't matter how handsome you are or how many times you swing to chat. I'm not going to give you any more eggs. Oh, it's the egg girl. Just forget me. How could I ever forget? Your heart is like a cuckoo's egg, easily given but easy to break. Please find it in your heart to forget whatever happened today. Okay, it's forgotten. Okay, sure. I feel like you weren't getting what I was going for there. Way to kill the mood. Sometimes women say more in their pauses than they say in their words. Really? Here, you have it. Oh, highly in trim. There you go. You brought this from Cece? Wow, uh, thank you. So far, so good. I have delivered two of the eight. Only six more to go. Oh, here we go. Oh, who's this? Oh, this is Clavia. This is the mayor's husband. I wish they'd clear the air between them and end this silly quarrel once and for all. But that's a moot point right now. I have something else on my mind. I have to take care of this before the mayoral election. Oh, there's something else going on. I won't mince words. It's about my husband, Reed. That man of mine, he shuts himself up in our shed every night. I don't have the faintest what he's up to. When I ask, he just says, it's a secret. And I can't get another peep out of him. But I get so worried when I think about whether whatever he's doing will affect his chances in the election. I'd like you to enter our shed at midday when my husband isn't around and see if you can figure out what he's doing. The only problem is he keeps the place locked up tight. You'd never fit in through a window, but maybe you could dig a hole or something. What are you doing? Okay. Cece's got a secret. Reed's got a secret. Secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets hurt someone. You look like a man who gets around. Wish I wasn't so tied down like I am. On days like this, my work to tend the field near the school hurts my lower back, so... It makes the road home feel longer than it did coming in. It's tough work, no mistake, but you know what keeps me at it on the hard days? Huh? Knowing that way, way down the line, what I do today is gonna keep someone fed. Did you have something to say? <laughs> yeah, have a mushroom. <laughs> A gift from CC, thanks for that! Very good, there's another one. Oh wait, surely, You're, that's a disgusting hat. You can have, uh, do you need some? Here, have another one, here we go. We're flying now. Electoral duties are tough. You know what I'm gonna do? Well, I think I need some R&R. &R. I need to get a new glider. What do we got? We got Hudson fabric, that's great. Horse guard, CC fabric, Giga fabric. Amazing, now I can see everyone from here. That's Mayor's wife. I think that's where the mayor lives, so that's fine. Just keep your eyes peeled for the old people. Hello. You're wearing a hat. Okay. Wait, hold up a second. There's, oh, wait, there's, oh, there's this person here. Hey there, brother. Oh, if you don't know me, I'm a worker at the inn. Whoever's at the counter right now can help you out if you need something. It's probably my wife, Prima, you'll be dealing with. Every time I show my face around there, she demands to know why I'm not wearing CC brand clothes. <laughs> I never knew my dear Prima was the type to get so worked up about fashion. You need something else? Something not related to the inn? Have a Hylian shroom. Ooh, for me? Thanks. My wife loves Cece stuff, so I'll save it as a treat for her. I'm not too into the designs myself, but she's pretty pleased with them. And she does look incredibly cute when she wears them too. Yeah, that Cece is alright in my book. And I'm not the only one. Koyan from the farm on the hill said the same thing. Oh, well, okay. Well, there's our next lead. Koyan at the farm on the hill. I have a feeling this here, I'm pretty sure this is the mayor's house, and this is the shed. I need a way to get in. Ha 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 I'm catching up with you later. Oh, it's getting late. But that's okay. I still got a little bit of time. The electoral duties never stop. Okay. Farm on the hill. Oh, here we go. Here's people. How do I fix this? Do I dive into the pond? But it's so dark. And anyways, I can't swim. What's that you got there? Oh, hey, have a Hylian shroom. Yes. Ah. Hmm, from Cece, huh? Ah. But I can see you mean well enough with the gift, so I'm happy to accept. Thanks. I need to get my hands on that message bottle floating in the pond, quick. Mm. I finally found the letter my great grandpa left, but can't reach for it. My arms are too short. Pond's too deep to swim and I don't know how. But that letter has the advice I need to get this farm back on its feet. If I don't get my hands on it, we're sunk. Can I, can I reach it? I can't reach it. Hold on. 
I need like a plank. I need just like the tiniest little bit. That'll do it. Just put that in the water. I'm gonna grab this real quick. Just let, let me in. Just gotta quickly grab this for her. Okay, I ignore the electricity. I just need to grab that. There we go. We've got the bottle. We have the goods. That's my great grandpa's message bottle. But how did you... Did you fish it out for me? Thanks. There should be a letter in this bottle with advice for getting our farm back on its feet. Let's see here. Whoa. Everything's happening. New specialty with mayor. Cheese. Fermentation. Can't name. Too early. Yeah, this could work. Sorry to run, but I want to put my great grandpa's advice into practice right away. If you need me, I'll be back at the house. Great. Okay, so the father's in there as well. She'll be in there making cheese. If I play my cards right, I can start making a new signature product. It'll be good not just for our farm, but for the whole village. <laughs> I'm itching to get started. All right, it's getting late. We will come back in a second to this because we need to investigate just before midnight. Perfect time. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. There's Cece. I need still. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Careful, careful. What are you doing? What is going on? What a schmuck. You're busted, Cece. Even though I am working for you. Building condemned. Do not enter. Alone at last. I've got to scope this out. This could be huge. We're busting you, Cece. <laughs> We're in. Perfect. I do believe nobody saw me. I'm free to enjoy another of my late night meals in secret. Ah, how I enjoy my nightly vegetables. The shine, the luster, the fragrance. Yes, indeed. Now this is luxury dining. And so without further ado, let us tuck in. Though I've built a reputation on flash and glamour here in private, I must admit that the simple unadored things are best. Huge. You're a sham! <laughs> oh, I learned a lot, Sophie. What? I thought you'd been hiding something big. Is that really all there was to it? I know my sister says a lot about charisma and style and has to do everything in the most ostentatious way possible, but between you and me, her tastes are pretty plain. <laughs> she loves the slow life here at Tino Village. But great, I've got some more mushrooms. I just can't understand why the two of them just don't work together instead of going to such bizarre lengths. Great, Cece's secret is complete. Scumbag Reed. Scumbag Cece. Everyone here is just a bunch of liars. Well, you're a new face around here, if I'm any judge. Welcome to Tino Pasture. <laughs> Didn't think I'd be getting any visitors in this rain. Hmm? You got something for me? Yeah, have a highly in shroom, buddy. Ooh. Is this from Cece? Isn't that sweet? These are tasty if you fry them up as a snack. Cool, man. Didn't ask. Old man, this is it. You. Uh. Yeah, what do you want with an old man like me? Yeah, have the Hylian shroom. Is that this from Cece? Well, that's generous of her. Thanks. What? What's this? That's a fine looking mushroom you brought me. Have I done it all? Have I done them all? Yes. I finished giving the eight reed supporters Hylian shrooms. Is she in here? Is she, is she here? I knew it would work. Oh, she is here. Hello. Uh. Ah, good. You showed up. Take a look at this. Oh my gosh, she's made cheese. I call it Hatino cheese. That message my great grandpa left behind had the recipe. It's springy on the outside, but melty on the inside and so delicious, you'll think you're dreaming. I couldn't have made this without you, so I wanted you to be the first to have some. Anyway, consider this my thanks. Go on, take it already. Oh, okay, cool. I'll take the cheese. As I stand it, Great Grandpa worked with the mayor back then on his Atino cheese to put our village on the map. But it was ahead of its time. The villagers rejected it. No! Having eaten this, I think they were nuts. Now is the time for Hatino cheese to make a splash in the culinary world. I'm sick of fashion getting all the attention lately. It's really eating into our business. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Koi and oh, here you go. Cheese shop. This is the best. I love this. Oh, I want to buy some cheese. I'm going to take some for the road. I'll take five. You know, spend a hundred bucks, you know. Holiday in Hatino. All right, CC, we did it. Bring on the election. Hold up a second. Oh, have you handed them out already? That ought to help a few of these Reed voters see the light. Here you are, a sign of my gratitude. Oh, thank you. Let's check out what's going on with Mayor Reed. We've got time. We can snoop on him while he doesn't even suspect a thing. There's no time. Well, I've got time. Oh, you're the traveler I saw at Vence's clothing, right? Did you come to check up on me because you were worried? 
Yeah, I lost my head a little there. I'm not too proud of the way I behaved. But don't you worry about me. I have a couple of tricks up my sleeve against Cece. I might not be able to pull one of them off in time for the mayor election. So I'm focusing on the second plan, to bring back a taste no one's tried here in years. Way back when, my grandfather worked with someone from the village to create a special kind of food. It was too ahead of its time to catch on, so it never went further than the first trial run, but I never forgot it. Even today, I can still recall the gooey mouthfeel of the one bite my grandfather shared with me. In the back of my mind, I've always wanted to make it a signature staple of this village. <laughs> If I could accomplish that, then I'd have something that could stand up to CC. And now I think of it, it also had a unique, pungent scent. If I could just smell that aroma again, it might jog my memory. Oh. Yes, that's the aroma I remember. Wait, hold on just a moment. Yeah, have a cheese. <laughs> this is it. This is just what I've been looking for. My grandfather developed it with a fellow villager. Hatino oh. cheese, of course. It's a miracle that Koya not only found the recipe, but managed to reproduce it. But this is great news. It's a clear sign that we ought to make a Tino cheese a new village staple. That ought to swing the election for me. Let me pay you for that cheese, okay? Oh, 600 bucks. Oh my gosh. New signature food. Well, I've, I've done it. The, the quest done. Clear that off. It's 8 a.m. Reed is just sitting around. He's not in the shed, so that's good. Maybe we can go in early. I'm gonna have a look. Here we go. Just go down the hole. Now, I need to find the spot. So, uh, is that the shed there? I feel like, I don't know where I've landed. No, here's the shed here. I need to go here. Free stuff. Free rocks. And, and get out. I feel like this is it. Just straight up here. Go, go. Excuse me. Go. I'm getting killed by chews. Go in the shed. <laughs> I'm in. I assume I'm in. Am I in? <gasps> I'm in. Oh boy, I'm in. Notes towards a new variety of pumpkin. I firmly believe that Hatino's village charm is in the delicious vegetables and milk from our farms, but there's no denying that these things just aren't resonating with the youth nowadays, and now I've got no business being mayor if I can't fix that. So I got together with Knack, the best farmer in these parts, and we came up with a new type of pumpkin. The colour, the shape, the, and appearance are based on the CC brand aesthetic, which is popular with the young folk. He's a scam as well. How goes it? Made any progress on that thing we talked about? Oh man, we've learned so much. You say he's developing a new type of pumpkin? So that's why he's been consulting with Knack so often. He could have just asked Cece about it directly, but I know he's too hardworking and stubborn for that. Thank you for looking into this for me. I promise you a reward and I keep my promises. I got some tomatoes. Man, secrets everywhere. This is crazy. I think it's time that democracy had its say. I love democracy. And now, without further ado, let's have each of our candidates for mayor say a few words. Uh, hi. Uh, I, I'm Reed. I believe that the heart of our village is its pastoral culture. We've built cl a close-knit, self-sufficient lifestyle here in Hatino, and I don't want to see us lose that. My plan is to strengthen our community with new local specialties, starting with our brand new Hatino cheese. Ooh. I am the world-renowned CC, Hyrule's premier fashion designer, but you knew that, of course. Together, we can turn this backwater village into Hyrule's go-to destination for all things stylish. Vegetables don't make the world go round, it's glamour that rakes in the cash. And nobody knows glamour like me, darlings. Fashion comes and goes, your style is trendy now, but it'll be over soon, and then where will we be? Nonsense! It's trends that shape the world, not the other way around! That's... That's enough! Sophie? Both of you are just arguing for more of what you like, not what's best for Hatino. You can't fool me, Cece. You've loved simple, plain things forever, including the vegetables of Hatino Village. I know for a fact that you hide in the silo at night to snack on vegetables! <laughs> Wherever did you get such a curious notion? Uh. And you read your secrets out too. I know why you've been secretly studying Cece's designs in the shed. You think there's something there you can use to get the youth to care about vegetable farming. <gasps> now who went and told you that? <clears throat> Cece, I can't deny any of it. Uh. It should have made me happy that you came in and livened up the village. 
No, Reed, it is I who should be ashamed. My childish pride would not allow me to admit the truth. The trends and style I made my name on are built on the foundation of traditional culture that our forebears worked for. Please, forgive me, everyone. I'm sorry, too. Sophie, I hereby withdraw my candidacy. What? Cece, wait. I'd be a fool to pretend you're not the reason our village is flourishing. I don't want to deny you your due. No. Did I hear you say you're working on a new vegetables to attract the youth of today? That sounds like a Cece-worthy endeavor. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with asking if you can help, you know. People of Hatino, we've come to a decision. The best way to keep Hatino Village vibrant is to work together to combine traditional culture with new ideas. Unbelievable. What a resolution. I love democracy. I knew, of course, that you'd been in cahoots with Sophie, but I never dreamed you'd also be conspiring with Clavia. Still and all, we can call that election a success. Uh -huh. Do you remember what we discussed when you first came here? No. This CC hat is the latest masterpiece of the CC collection. <sighs> it's you that I want to model my CC hat. You who saved not just Hatino Village, but also me and Reed. My perfect hat is unsuitable for anyone else to wear. And besides, no. let's not pretend it won't look absolutely dashing on you. Thank you. Fashion. First of all, election complete. That's great. Well done. Excuse me, Cece. I haven't got a Hylian hood yet. I'm just going to quickly just grab one of these. Thanks. 70 bucks. Ah, oh, well, that is a dashing hood. It might be better to show your face here. If you like, I could give your outfit that personal CC touch. Oh, sick. Put the hood down. Let me see my beautiful hair. Oh, look at me. <laughs> oh, it's the best. It's the hood. Wow, that was great. Good has been done here today in Hatino Village. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. This is a great time. Democracy was done here today. The people got to decide. It's fantastic. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to bring your A game.